taking care of the famous door panel inserts. Um, I've been trying with like chemicals and stuff like that, trying to get this glue off here. And this glue does not like to come off. It just wants to bite into this, I don't know, like felt or whatever it is. Um, so I'm thinking I might just grab some sandpaper and try and sand it off. Um, I'll have to be careful. I don't want to nick any of the, the actual plastic. The door panel uh, pieces that I got, they're the, the hard plastic ones. And they, they fit on there. They look like they fit on there really nice. Uh, I've, I've seen a, a video where they uh, took this felt all the way off. But um, all the other videos say to leave that stuff on and just get rid of the glue. So that's what I'm going to do. And then if it doesn't work, uh, you know, if that felt starts coming off or something like that, then I'll, I'll redo them and get that, you know, uh, straight to the plastic instead. Um, one tip I can say is take these parts off here where your power window motor, uh, power window button is and everything because uh, the uh, panel wants to sit kind of behind them. So this is the gluing phase of the panel, door panel inserts. I, uh, I went ahead and pulled the door panel off. It was just easier that way. And then that way I can lay weights on top of the stuff, on top of the, the plastic panel to keep it set right. And uh, so in order to do that, I had to sand and sand and sand and get the get rid of the, the plastic like glue that's on there. And like, I can't believe that those panels actually failed because that glue, that glue doesn't want to come off. So I spent quite a few hours sanding that glue off. And then with these panels, these replacement panels here, it tells you to clean it off with uh, like Windex, like uh, ammonia based glass cleaner. And then they want you to do a bead all the way around the perimeter. And then they want you to do a bead all the way across here. And then a bead basically across here. So what I did was I did the whole perimeter. I did around all the way around the opening. I did all the way down around here. And then I added some here. And then I added some through the middle here. And I still have easily have half that tube left to do the other side with. So I figured if some's good, a lot must be better. And that way it shouldn't have any looseness to it. Uh, and then I just use like, my, you know, the heaviest hammers and dollies that I have once I set the panel on there and put something on there to protect it so that the heavy metal doesn't scratch it and then just set it on there and made sure it's set right. I saw a video where the guy was claiming that this thing doesn't fit right. And these must have been fixed from that point because he cut his right here and spread it out. And it was probably a, a quarter of an inch spread right there. And then he just filled it with, I don't know, something. But... Uh, I didn't have that problem. It, it, it all fit on there really nice. So just uh, an update and have to wait like 24 hours before it is set, before the glue sets. So I'll uh, update tomorrow and see how it goes. I know that uh, it should be stuck on there pretty nice. It, it, it's actually sitting in there. It's actually sitting in there pretty good. There's not, there's not any give to it. So the weights are doing their job, but up 
update until tomorrow. So it's now the next day and um, it's not been quite it's not been quite 24 hours but um, and I can smell the the silicone still um, but I think it's probably good enough now uh, it's been sitting on there since last night so it's been over 12 probably more like hmm yeah it's it's been on there about 14 hours so we are going to see what it looks like together it should look Sure, you balance it here. looks really nice. It's like that part didn't stick down there though. The rest of it looks like it's stuck down there really nice though. One little spot here. That's weird. The GoPro just stopped recording for whatever reason. I just turned it on. But looks like I got one spot here that didn't quite stay stuck. Wonder if I can just looks really good on there. Everything else seems like it's stuck on there. Uh, it's a little, it's a little loose right there too. But it's really loose there. This I think is fine, not fine, but workable. But I think that spot there just didn't seem to take. Other than that, it looks good on there. I think we'll just go with it. I could probably try and squeeze some in there, but the likelihood that I'm going to get it all over here, pretty high. But I know where the problem spots are for the next one, and I'll make sure that I get a good st spot stuck down there and there in the corners there. It's hard to tell when you have everything all covered up with towels but overall I think it looks really good and it'll match the interior really nice and that's the finished product sitting on the car needs to be wiped down a little bit but all in all I think it looks pretty good on there a couple of tips if you're putting this on if you snap this piece in first, because this is two pieces, if you snap this piece in first, this piece won't fit. So what you got to do is pop this back out, which is what I did. Pop it back out. Actually, pop this piece back out. Pop these two pieces together, snap these two pieces back together, and then slide this in and kind of pop it in all in one thing because it's really tight right here and this actually has to sit underneath that but other than that I did add some glue to that that seems to be better Not too bad <laughs>